I am Cheryl Ann, and I've lived here now for about 33 years. I want to thank you all for being here. I wasn't raised Métis, but while I was here, another lady at the museum said she'd like to keep people to do genealogy, and I found out that I'm Métis, Mohawk, Turtle Clan. And I loved every minute of it because it explained a lot about me and how I related with others. Here in Penticton and the South Okanagan, I have been a volunteer advocate and disability advocate for both black people and indigenous for 28 years now. That gives me a huge education along with my own experience with racism. Stay with me. Black lives matter too. We here in Canada have been simply thought of as an oh, not so racist neighbor north of USA. But sadly, the truth, the truth is that since 1750 onward into today, black people have faced poorer education, environmental, and border racism and bullying right up into police brutality. Black lives matter too. <laughs> Indigenous have suffered much. Why they were here on this land first before others came in and then the forms of racism came in the forms of suffering 150 years of tyranny, forcible wars, lives lost, pox in trade blankets to make the indigenous sick and then death. The truth is, that was what caused the move for them with the barren land with hardly any wildlife to survive. Race Relations in Canada survey found that Indigenous people in Canada are just as likely as Black people to face unfair treatment simply because of their race. Racism is wrong. Where are all these Christian people to stand up and fight for us? shouldn't say this, but I'm going to. My very first form in my life of truly being treated with bullying and a type of racism was within Christianity. When I hear these black people talk about all the yuckety years of school, I can relate. Yeah, my mother committed a sin. She, oops, had a relationship with a man that was married, but then they got married. But all through the school years, I can remember every time coming to church, seeing the people in their pews, looking and pointing. Oh, oh there she is. There's the slut. Then on into about me and saying, oh, she's the slut's daughter. Don't have nothing to do with her. So I know what this means. The Native Women's Association has cited that 4,000 missing and murdered Indigenous women in Canada. So and yet, to truthfully give our federal government a failing grade in the last 12 months. You know, political try to make themselves look good with their media pictures taken with Indigenous chiefs. And you know what? Even the residential school abuse stuff hasn't been properly taken care of. We all need to build community. We build community so that we can heed all the actions to come together to inspire and educate. And in order to do this, we need to listen. For listening, truly listening, creates empathy and compassion into understanding. So listen. 
truly listen and respond with respect. Please make choices, inclusive choices for goodness. Send out love, for fearless love helps people cross over, cross over into belonging and equality. You know, we all have differences, differences and uniqueness, and this is what gives the rainbow to life. And once again, let's build an inclusive community. Yeah.